Hello, in this video I'm going to go over a question from section 2.4, question code 2.4.9. It happens to be number 6 on the summer 2022 homework. This problem has to do with comparing a linear correlation coefficient r to critical values that you'll find in a table. The question reads as follows. For a data set of brain volumes in centimeters cubed and IQ scores of 5 males, the linear correlation coefficient is r equals 0 0.455. Use the table available below to find the critical values of r. Based on a comparison of the linear correlation coefficient r and the critical values, what do you conclude about the linear correlation? This is the screen that you actually see when you do the problem. You can click on the icon to see the table of critical values. To use this table to find critical values, we need to know our number of pairs of data, n, and then we'll match it up with the critical value to the right. The problem reads that the data set has the brain volumes and IQ scores of 5 males. So that means our n equals 5 for this problem. So when we're finding our critical value of r, we're going to say n equals 5 and find the critical value related to it. So our critical value, cv, is 0 0.878. Consider all of the critical values in the table as being both positive and negative. So our critical value is actually going to be positive or negative, 0.78. So you can even write that in your table, positive or negative there. On our homework, we can type in plus minus, click plus minus there, and then 0 0.878 and press check answer for that part of the problem. The next part says since the correlation coefficient r is, and it gives us options, either in the left tail below the negative critical value, in the right tail above the positive critical value, or between the critical values, we have to make a determination depending on what category we fall in and say there is or is not sufficient evidence to support the claim of a linear correlation. Our critical values tell us if our correlation coefficient r is closer to negative 1, closer to 0, or closer to 1. Our critical values in this problem are negative 0.878 and positive 0.878. So we want to compare our r in the problem to these values. If our correlation coefficient r falls below the critical value of negative 0.878, then we say that there is a correlation. If the correlation coefficient r falls above the critical value positive 0.878, then we say that there is evidence to support a cor correlation. However, if our value of r falls between negative 0.878 and positive 0.878, we say that there's not evidence to support a correlation or no correlation. Now, in this problem, we're given r equals 0.455. So we're going to compare r equals 0.455 to our critical values that we found. And we can see on a number line here that 0.455 might fall about here. 0.455. That is between our critical values. So we would say that because R falls between our critical values, that there is not evidence to support a correlation. So we say no correlation. Fill that in on our homework since the correlation um, coefficient r is between the critical values, there is not sufficient evidence to support the claim of a linear correlation. Check our answer. Nice work. Now you can follow this format to complete similar problems. It will be the same for all of the 2.4 problems you do related to these critical values. I hope this helps. Reach out if you have any more questions.